um, I'm back with my the third part of my haul from Destination Wax. This is from her April's um, whole list pre-order. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a few of them like this so that way it's easier for me to come back to it later on when I'm doing the warm review so that I can um, attach it or to um, link it link it to this video so it's easier for me to know okay which part did I um, test it out and try out and melt it so I feel like I'm gonna do a few of them like this um this is the the sampler in first flights so there are 15 in this uh sample sampler should I say and so yeah let's get into it so this is a uh, Cape Cod Coast. So it's salty sea air, crashing waves, myrtle leaves, fresh cedar wood, and marine algae, profumo aqua de sel type. So I'm thinking it's um sort of like a cologne type, cologne. Um, I know aqua di Gio is from Giorgio Armani. So I'm not sure if it's uh, a Giorgio Armani type or not. It is very fresh. Um, it has that salty saltiness from that salty sea air. You can smell that saltiness. Like, you know, like when you go to the beach and you smell that um, salt from the salt water, but also has that freshness. As you can tell lately, I've been cutting the wax in half to smell the middle. Um, this is just a plain light blue. It's very, I gotta be honest with you right now, on cold, <clears throat> it's, a, it's light. But because... I think in general, these kind of um, scent are light to start with, like all the cologne dupes I, I noticed, like all the light um, cologne dupes, such as, let me see, uh, uh, CK1 or light blue, they are light um, perfume as is. So I think these can be just one of those light, very pretty, very light oil to start. Um, it's good. I like it. I think it will be nice in the bathroom, in um, a boy's room, or in the living room. It's very masculine. It's very um, with... You can... It can be passed as masculine and feminine as well. So yes, that is Cape Cod Coast. Next up is Ghostess. Ghostess is um, Parma Violets and Lightly Toasted Marshmallow. Very floral. Um, you get that hint of sweetness from the toasted marshmallow, but that floral, that violet, is very strong. So it's a very floral, very perfumey scent. So you have to like um, flower, floral to appreciate this, which I like, which I do like. But um, for all those who are very easy to have a trigger, headache, migraine, this could be a strong scent because I, I can tell you from here, I can smell that floral already. Um, I like it. I think my mom would appreciate this. Like this has a more of a, a mature scent. I like it. So that is Ghostess. Next up is Lady Grey. And I forgot to order Lady Grey in a loaf. But I'm glad that I have um, this. And I, I'm glad that she opened up custom. So I'm probably going to have to add this to... Uh, my custom in Lowe's. This is two-tone. On the top is gray and then on the bottom is um, white. Uh, this is a blend of black tea infused with a hint of bergamot oil and lemon peel. And that's what you get. You get that black tea with that um, bergamot and that lemon, but that black tea is strong. So if you like a strong tea blend, very citrusy, very fresh as well. Very calming too because that tea, I feel like tea blend can make it very calming it's a calming kind of tea um, scent uh, this is really really good yes this has to be my custom because i forgot to get a loaf of this last time during the april's pre-order ah uh, i i really like this this is a very good kind of calm you down kind of scent so that is lady gray so up next is lavender sugar cookie now this is lavender and sugar cookie for less cookie, see lavender cookie. So this one I did not pick up in a loaf because like I told you, I don't know if you watched my previous, um, my first haul, the one uh, with the loaves. I got a lavender cookie because this lavender sugar cookies is a lot of sugar cookie. You mainly get sugar cookie. 
but it's very it's it's very to me the lavender is strong too this is actually really good too i don't know for some reason when i smell this i smell more lavender and less sugar cookie uh, I like this. I think this has to go on custom as well. This is a very nice sweet lavender. Um, it's in the middle of sweet and herbal. So it's not super powdery or anything like that. And as you can see, it's two-tone on the top. It has uh, more of that lilac. And then on the bottom is a deeper purple. And you have all those little sparkle speck on the bottom. And her wax is super easy to cut. No microwave needed. Um, I use a crinkle cutter and just cut straight down the middle. Very, very easy. This is actually very nice. This is low worthy for me too. So next is London Rain. A warm rainy day in London Park. Rain, citru citrus, florals, and wood. Jo Malone Rain and Angelica. So this is a Jo Malone type or dupe. And... I've never been to London, but it's very, it, it smells, I don't know if it smells like rain though, because you know how when, before it starts to rain, you smell a lot of that earthy dirt smell, but while it's raining, well, I don't stand in the rain to smell what rain smells like, I only smell what before the rain comes, but this is a very fresh, you get the citrus, you get the floral, and for some reason, I also get like a salty sea air kind of deal to it too For with my nose on cold. This smells very perfumey as well. This, is, this can be considered to my nose kind of perfumey as well. It's nice. I like it. Yes. Um, is it loaf worthy? Maybe not. Maybe just like a, a six pack or, or but maybe not a loaf worthy. But I do, I do appreciate this. It's one of those very cologne-y. Um, it kind of sort of very close to Cape Cod Coast. They're very in the same family, should I say, in that freshy, fresh family. We got mango raspberry gelato, a sweet, creamy blend of mango, raspberry, and lemon. Very fruity. I get mostly that raspberry. I'm not a big fan of raspberry, so whenever I smell something that and then read it, uh, my mind automatically just go to that smell or pick out that smell. Um, it's very fruity. I don't, for some reason, I do not get the mango. I don't know. I don't get the mango on cold yet. So right now, I just get the very citrusy raspberry scent, very fruity scent. And this is very pretty, as you can tell. It's a two-tone, super, super pretty. I think you would appreciate this during the hot months of the summer if you're very into fruity, if you're a seasonal melter. This is a good summer month kind of um, wax to melt during this time. And I'm thinking because it's gelato, it's probably in Italy, somewhere in Italy. Now our destination takes us to um, Southeast Asia. So mango sticky rice, Thai sticky rice with fresh mango slices. So not only does um, Thailand makes mango sticky rice, but also Vietnam makes mango sticky rice as well. Um, I make it all the time at home and I don't think that this is how my mango sticky rice smells like when I make it. Um, I put coconut milk with my mango sticky rice. So to me, it's missing that coconut milk milk scent. This, I just get fruity. Um, I don't know what sticky rice is supposed to smell like, but this is not what I would think of when I think of mango sticky rice, if that makes sense. But it's a good fruity scent if you like fruity if you like fruity scents. Pear salad. So fresh lettuce plus red pear, slightly fruitier than fresh lettuce. This one is strong. I sitting from here and I just cut the wax and I can smell it before even bringing it up to my nose. This is a very strong green. It has a lot of that green note, um, maybe from the fresh lettuce. You get a lot of that leaves, that greenness. Um, you know, when you smell 
the vines of something or the leaves of something. That's what I get. Um, I, don't, I didn't know that lettuce has a scent, but maybe next time when I cut lettuce, I, I would smell it. But yeah, this has a lot of greenness. And then on the bottom, I guess that's where the red pear is, where the red part or the pink part is. It's, it's sweet and fruity. So it's a sweet, fruity, greeny, green, as in not, not floral and not pine. Um, so there's no pine or no, not tree scent, but very more like, um, leaves, should I say, or the vines or of, of a tomato, of a strawberry, you know, that part, that green notes. It's probably not my go to scent. I don't think I would sought this out to repurchase this, but I'm I'm very intrigued to see what it smells like on uh once I warm it up. So next is Pink Sari. Pink Sari is pink sugar with combined with patchouli essential oil. If you watched the previous um episode, which you should, I would um, you know, it's going to I'm going to link it up at the ending of the this video so go check those video out so that you know my feeling about pink sari but yes pink sari is a love of mine this is so pretty too uh, a light peachy color on the bottom and uh, on the top and a darker red on the bottom it is such a good pink sugar and patchouli blend together i i can sit here all day and tell you how much i love pink sari but yes this is so so good you have to it's one of those where you're like, ooh, what does pink sugar and patchouli smell like? But once you smell it, you be like, ooh, that is so good. Um, you do have to like pink sugar and you do have to like patchouli though, because if you don't like those two, you're not gonna just try out anyway. If you don't like pink sugar and you don't like patchouli, just grab one anyway and see if you like it or not. Like grab a scent shot. I might, I think you might change your mind because this is such a good, wonderful blend. Ah, uh, so good. Pistachio rose water cake. It's cake with buttercream and scented with rose water and pistachio. Uh, an elegant non bakery scent. So, pistachio. I have a lotion called the Boom Boom Cream. I don't know if every, anyone heard of it. It's a it's a lotion that I've been using forever. And when you come out in the sun, it has little glitter and glisten, and it makes your skin beautiful and it has pistachio in it i love pistachio in my lotion but in pistachio and i love eating pistachio but in pistachio in wax i'm not a fan of and with this it says it's non-bakery but you get that sweetness though from that cake and buttercream so i don't i don't especially the green part on the bottom it's very i guess that's what the pistachio is because it's very nutty. It, it has a very nutty, creamy scent to it. Um, it's, it's an okay, I get that rose. It is not sweet bakery, should I say, but it has still has the creaminess of all the essence of um, a bakery um, scent. Yeah, so you don't get that super cloyingly sweet bakery scent, but you still has that creaminess, butteriness, of a bakery scent so this is not like a cologne to me because i don't think you would want to wear this on your body because of how buttery it is and how um creamy the scent is so yes this is pistachio and rose water cake red pear juicy ripe red pear richer than barlet barlet pear and yellow pear the only pear that I enjoy eating are Korean pears. So those are very sweet. They're very watery. So red pear has a very pear scent. Like it's very, I, I smell the pear scent in there. It's sweet. Um, you get, as soon as you close your eyes and you put this uh, wax up to your nose, you know that it's a pear scent. Like, or, or a fruity, it, it could also cross as an apple though for some reason because I guess I'm not a very big fan of fruity fruit scent so I, I get all of them mixed up together but I can I can see the pear in here it's a it's a nice summer scent again it's good for the summer time um, it's good for me to have just the one because I'm not a fruity person but yes if you like pear scent this probably will be good for you too so yes grab red pear if you like pear scents 
strawberry crumble, strawberries, and acai berries baked in sugar with a light topping of sugar cookie crumbles. Ooh, I, I, you know what? I really like strawberry scent. I, I don't like berries. I don't like fruity, but I think I'm a fan of strawberry because this is very, very nice. And uh, because I do like strawberry, I don't know if it's, it's not a, it's more of a bakery sh strawberry. It's not a fresh picked strawberry because I guess because of all the other notes that's in here. Um, the acai berries, I don't get too much yet. I get the sugar cookie crumbles. I get that. I get that creamy, uh, that not crusty, crust pie or pie crust, should I say, but I get that it's a bakery scent and not just a strawberry scent alone. It's it's good. I like this. Um, I might think of picking up a, a few more scent shots or a bigger quantity of this. Not a loaf, but a few more um, scent shots to have around. This is nice. Up next is strawberry seed, sweet and zesty strawberry, and that's that's what it is. It's um, do you remember the previous one was the strawberry crumble? That one has more bakery scent. This one is straight, just straight up fresh, fresh, uh, fresh picked strawberry. Ah, this is good. I do enjoy my strawberry, so this maybe I want to get a loaf of this just to have on the side, you know, just in case when I do crave a strawberry scent, I can pick this up. Um, I'm gonna see if I can do a battle, head-to-head -head battle with other people's strawberry because I know a couple other vendors have really, really good strawberry as well. So, But so far, I like Destination Wax Strawberry as well. All right, so Thai sticky rice. So it's pan-roasted um, pasmati rice baked in coconut milk and brown sugar. It's just a, a sweet... I feel like I don't get too much of the coconut. The coconut is not coming out too much right now. To me, I just feel like it's a sweet, um, sugary, bakery scent. Yeah, I I don't get the rice, um, the sticky rice scent or the coconut. It's just sweet. Um, maybe it's just because I'm just not used to this scent or the way it is. Um, I'm just, I have... I make a lot of sticky rice, so I, I kind of know what that smell is. And um, to me, my sticky rice, so distinctly, this is not what I think of when I uh, hear st sticky rice. It's a good bakery scent. Like, it's a good bakery scent. And I think this would could really go really good with some coffee, like to blend in with coffee. But it's just because I haven't had any coffee yet. So I'm just, my mind is thinking coffee right now. But yes sticky rice all right so just for laugh and giggles i'm gonna show you guys how um easy it is to cut this wax or destination wax so as you can see the wax is right there here is my crinkle cutter a little dirty but um i've been cutting it so i'm just gonna all right so you're gonna just go if you want half then you go straight in the middle and just go straight down and as you can tell um it's just because i'm at an odd angle no microwave needed it cuts pretty it's cut really easily no crumble a uh, little bit but not not you know where it's gonna break apart or anything like that so yeah this is the scent wedding cake that we just cut with vanilla cake white frosting a thin layer of strawberry jam not buttery um, I get the vanilla in there and yes, it's not buttery, should I say, but you still get that bakery from the vanilla cake though and that white frosting. I don't get too much of the strawberry jam on cold. I don't get too much strawberry yet, but it might be because I've been sniffing all those other strawberry scents so my nose um, can't detect this one because it's so light, but it's a good uh, cake scent. Like a happy birthday, you know, every other vendor have that happy birthday or that cake scent, that infamous cake scent. Um, it's something like that. It's good. I'm not a big cakey cake scent person. So this one 
it's a it's a okay um i'm glad i have one to try and see from there how i like it so yes so that is my um first flight sampler from destination west favorite on cold so far and i've favorite that i know i've tried it um on cold uh, new to me would be ghostess i really like that cape cod was good um lady gray i already had so i know it's a good good love lavender sugar cookies actually surprised me so i do need a loaf of that i know london rain was good uh pink sorry is a love love um strawberry crumble was good not to not you know i think i really like that um because the strawberry was strong strawberry seed was also very good so those were my favorite on cold thank you so much for stopping by um if you're new to my channel hi welcome you know hit that subscribe button hit that bell turn on your notification um also check down in the description box for all the scent all the you know all the information on destination wax i'm gonna i'm gonna have all the scent um description down there as well so look in the description box sometimes there's um, other fun tidbit or other things down there i might throw in uh if you're an old subscriber of mine thank you hi how are you thank you for coming by again joining me watching me supporting me and yes until next time guys bye